We plan on going salmon fishing today for the first time. We're super excited to go, but uh, we need to set up our poles to catch salmon. So right now we have this is our biggest pole, and it looks like I already caught a stick on it. Uh, this one's currently set up for catching sunfish back from where we're from in Wisconsin there. And this one is also set up for sunfish. So we're going to redo these, and I'm actually going to swap Lori's reel onto the bigger pole because she does have a stronger line and I'll move this uh, this reel over to the smaller pole just because it's a weaker line and if it's gonna break I'll put it on the smaller pole it's not a big deal what we're told is that we're going to want to put a sinker on about two feet up and then we'll put a hook on there. Uh, currently the regulations say that we can't have any baited hooks and it can only be a single hook. Uh, and so we're going to put that on there and then what we need to do is cast outward and kind of bounce it across the ground until it comes to the shore and then we just keep doing that and hope we pass by a salmon that'll just snap at it. Oh. Uh, the poles and reels we're using aren't necessarily meant for this kind of salmon fishing. Uh, it seems that people typically recommend uh, using a fly fishing setup. But talking to some locals, they said that this will work just fine. It'll get us out there and uh, try and get some fish, so we're pretty excited. And after today, we should uh, be able to figure out if we think we need to get other supplies for doing this. Put it on upside down. Uh. <laughs> Probably won't work very well that one. Well, maybe if I stand upside down, it'll work. I think that's the biggest one I got. We went through all of our fishing stuff and got rid of it, didn't we? Yeah. I think these are all... Oh, look! I have these two! Those will work. Yeah. I kind of want to try a bunch of different things. Oh, we definitely can. I'll... We have no idea what I'll we're doing. I'll rig them up so we can swap out a bunch. And... So, you know, all these ones that we have for sunfish, this is a whole different league. We've done zero, really, zero research into this, haven't we? <laughs> We've just been asking people what their thoughts are. Well, maybe I'll just put a bigger one on them. Uh, at least on yours, because, you know. So we'll do everything the line. where we think that the size will work on my pole. And then we'll do everything that's probably too small on yours. Yeah. And then we'll just see. Yep. Okay. See what kind of equipment we lose. All right. Got a sure leader. Sure leader is the best brand of leader, though. Oh wait. <laughs> Hold that thought. Oh. <laughs> That's right, Cody. Sure leaders are the best kind of leaders. <laughs> I just think we're so funny. I'm hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we should wear these all day now. <sighs> we got this great merch from it. <laughs> uh, if we choose to put this in the video, for those of you that don't know, the hats are from an old company that my dad used to do, making leaders, and it's just, we just thought it'd be funny. Because it is funny. It's funny, huh? We're funny. Oh. Let's go with the pink one, because I don't care if we lose it. We got a lot of pink ones, but I only have one that's... Oh wait, let's do a that's pink... That's a pretty little hook in it. I am going to miss 
fishing for bass and sunnies. Those are pretty fun and pretty tasty. Sunfish are my all-time favorite, but we'll see. So we made it to our, I guess what I'm gonna call our practice fishing spot. Um, I don't see any fish in the water, but that's okay because it's been a while. So we're gonna take just a few practice shots and then I think we might walk um, further downstream and kind of see what we get there too. But we saw a few people upstream a little bit from where we are. Um, you know, we're gonna get warmed up, see what, see what happens. Whoa. Well, right, just like that, over and over again. Let's see how. Okay, nice. I feel like I'm walking in a jungle right now. Oh, this is kind of cool. We decided to walk through the water. We got just a little wet. <laughs> There's so much water in there. Hey Cody, what are we doing today? Going fishing. Woo! We got some pretty cool looking waders. I'm wearing Cody's really ugly boots because mine hey. wouldn't fit with the waders. Got our poles. We actually tried doing this one other time and uh, we just didn't have the right baits. Everything that we had pretty much sank to the bottom instead of floated up. So after we got our truck fixed and we got into town, we ended up buying some more um, lures and stuff. So hopefully today's the day when we got in, hopefully. Let's give it a try. What's so dirty now? Mm-hmm. Put it on a stringer and put it in water so it stays cold. Yeah. And you're using that really big one, aren't you? Yeah. No, it's a. We have a three and four. It's a three. Okay. I think I have a four on right now. I cast it with it three times. Oh, I think I accidentally. I think I snagged it. No, it's on my hand. Don't let this hook fly out if it comes off. It's stuck on Cody. I don't 
have a big enough pole for this. <laughs> Oh, oh, it got off. Sorry. <laughs> that was my fault. But your oh. pull was not satisfactory. Hey. You, I know, you just want to be oh, the only one. I think you're the king. Oh, yeah, probably. And yours was the hump one. I'm, yeah, I have a pink. Yeah. I think that was a king man, which we can't even keep those. Yeah, you can during this time. Oh, you could have kept that one because it was small enough. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, it wasn't my fault. It's your own fault for not getting a bigger pole. I mean, I can set my drag higher. I just have a little line on. Man, they're so slippery. Yay! Nice. Yours is prettier than mine. Mine looks really old. <laughs> Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. Nice. Yeah, look at the difference between yours and mine. That's mine. That one's yours. It has a big scar on it. Yeah, it's something. Oh boy. Well, our second attempt at fishing actually produced fish this time. We were both super excited. We each managed to catch one pink, um, and now we have to try to figure out how to fillet them. Uh, it's been been a long time since I've at least filleted a fish. I want to say it's been at least a year if not two years and they've been you know this big <laughs> little sunfish. sunfish yeah. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We don't really have enough internet where we are right now in order to kind of google how to fillet a salmon so we are completely winging it. And <laughs> you need a level of tape. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm sure if you know what you're doing, this whole thing is probably going to make you cringe. Um, oh well, I don't know. <laughs> is what it is. End result should at least be the fact that we have fish to eat. Um, we at least have dinner tonight. And then we don't really have a good source of refrigeration yet. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with whatever we don't eat for dinner. We maybe might run some through the canner. We might give the dog a very nice dinner as well. I'm not sure right now, but to be determined. Okay. I'm just gonna do this like- Oh, oh no, fish! Glory. No! <laughs> Leave it alone, I
it was stressful. Hmm. It's like I want to do it really well, and I know I'm not going to. go. Okay. What color is your fish? Pink. Yours is very white. Yeah. Mine is pretty pink. Okay. That was a mess. I know that this filleting job is terrible, but... Just the difference in colors alone of my fish and Cody's fish is crazy. Yeah. Such a little fish fillet for a salmon. That's pretty good though. Mm. Not bad. I think it's a little overdone, bro. I was going to say, how does that bottom look? I think you're supposed to be able to... I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little bit overdone, but... It's, it's going to be overdone. Well, yeah, this is going to be overdone, that might be, but like this middle part looks perfect. Mm. We should have cut it in half and taken this out first. Yeah. But. We'll give it a shot. Also, though, first time cooking salmon directly over a fire. Ooh, that looks pretty good, actually. Sweet. I don't think we overcooked it. Good. This is the fish that you caught this morning. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? I mean, it's, it's fish. He means it's awesome. <laughs> it's a pink salmon, which locals say isn't even worth eating, but I like it. Okay, I want to try some. Mm. What? It does taste like salmon. Oh, weird. <laughs> so when we were filleting it, it's so white. That I was like, this just looks like a big bass. <laughs> like, there's no way this is going to taste like salmon. <laughs> it does. It tastes like salmon. Oh, yeah. This is the one that was more pink. Mm-hmm. So I tried this thin side first. Mm hmm That is a little overcooked, but the thicker side is good. It Is that good? I think that's a yes. Here. You're not getting any more though. That's all you're getting right now. The grill was already hot and kind of smoky, so we figured we'd throw the rest of this fish on there. If it cooks a little bit, that's fine, but it might get a slightly smoky fa flavor. Maybe not, because um, it won't be there for very long. Um, but at least this way it kind of buys us time where the fish is not sitting out with the sun and the flies. Um, and I think we're going to get together some of our 
canning stuff, kind of dig it out of storage, and we're gonna kind of do a really small batch for the rest of the salmon. So it's super lightly smoked, but, but if you think about it, lightly smoked versus just not smoked at all, I don't really think it's going to hurt anything. Not bad looking. So I think the goal is to do at least four of these jars if we can. I'm not sure if we have enough for that. Uh, but we're going to try to split it up as evenly as we can into at least four. I brought out five just in case, but I kind of doubt it. So we'll see. We'll start with the biggest chunks and fill in with a smaller one so that each jar kind of has some big chunks and little chunks. Well, they're very sparse jars, but there's your four. Well. Something. I'm wondering if I should split it up and only do three. Dirty, dirty. Four jars. Might as well just do them. Yeah, I guess. This won't be filled very far. It's fine. <laughs> So we aren't quite set up right now. Our propane burner on our grill isn't really working, so we don't have that for our normal canner. So we got out the fancy electric canner um, for the salmon. It's been a little bit, so I'm gonna double check the time. Otherwise, um, we're gonna have to get the generator running with this one, but it feels kind of nice to finally be preserving something, especially since we don't really have much of a garden this year. But yay, hopefully in a couple hours we can see some nice preserved jars of salmon. Alright, we are done. Let's give it a look. Oh boy. The only downside is I haven't found my jar tongs. They're still packed away somewhere, so we're gonna have to just do this with a sweatshirt. And be really, really careful. Ooh, that's really hot. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to find something to lift these out, but they look awesome. Uh, I've never canned fish before, so this was definitely a learning lesson, and I know I pushed it a little bit trying to make them spread out into four jars, but lesson learned, I definitely needed to use half pints instead of pints because they shrunk up just a little bit more than I expected, so they're pretty empty looking, but oh well, at least we learned something, and they still look pretty good, even if they're <laughs> basically empty. Oh my gosh. They smell delicious. Absolutely delicious. It sealed good. Yeah, it should have sealed good. But you got you with a smell test. It smells like 
Sounds like salmon. <laughs> Sounds like salmon. And it looks like something. Yeah. Let's see if it's any good. No, you go first. Mm. That's actually really good. I had a feeling I was going to like canned yeah. salmon way better than like fresh cooked salmon, which probably is going to make everybody who lives here really mad, uh, but it's true. <laughs> I think it's just because it's cold. I don't really like the warm I... as much. I just, I really like cold salmon. That's really good. Another thing we could try to do is take the skin off of it so the skin's not on it. When we're canning it. I don't really like eating the skin. It's too just like glob of fatty feeling. Mm. I don't like that. Um, the actual like flesh is really good. Yeah. I think. I mean, you can definitely taste that smokiness to it, even though we barely I was going to say, we only smoked it. <clears throat> we smoked it for maybe, well, it was longer than we first thought it was going to be. I think it was around three hours. Hmm. I mean, it, was, it was a while. We were, got distracted with a bunch of other things. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. I don't foresee us doing any other hunting this year, so mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be going salmon fishing. And now that we proved we can actually catch some. Oh, we caught two. You want me <clears throat> looking for more? There's hope. <laughs> yeah. Dog loves it. Like, I, I want to eat it with like a cracker. Good. I'm not a big fan of skin. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I figured the just leave it in there because we'll dribble the juice and the skin bits on her food bowl. Because now she's just going to have to eat it with a whole bunch of dirt. Dirt's good for you. She's been eating too much dirt. All right, well, I guess we'll have to catch more salmon. Yeah. And can a lot more salmon, too.